As promised, um, I'm here to give you a review of the Elitent. Did a brief um, explanation of this in a previous video, um, but now uh, Jack and I are gonna go through and give you the lowdown on how it's worked out for us. And we've deployed it probably about 30 times so far, and um, without fail, it's worked out really, really well. The whole point of the tent was to uh, extend the living area of the uh, of the element, uh, since there's uh, much less than six feet behind the passenger seat for anybody to go through and stretch out and lay down. So um, this makes that possible to go through and extend a bed in here, like I did with this build, uh, and then use this uh, the use the space that's back here. And it's, it's kind of a trend here with that. There are other products coming to market that are doing the same thing, um, but not quite as tidy as what this one does. The construction of the tent, basically it's three panels, two side panels and then the rear main panel. Now, at the time I ordered it, I think you could get windows for the side panels. Um, and that's obviously to your personal preference. I like the privacy that this is giving me and, uh, and how it contains just a little bit more of the warmth there. But I can see that in drier climes, like when I'll be down in the desert here, the southwestern deserts before too long, um, that ventilation would probably come in handier. Then the, uh, the, the back part of this as well, and there's a couple of components to it as it comes down and zips and encloses the, the, the back end of this, and it has a privacy flap that goes over an interior no seam screen preserving privacy allowing airflow uh and it seems to be very durable so i'm i'm pretty impressed uh, all the way around with things that way you could use the tent as it is you can erect the tent uh, where it's at but if you have saggy gas struts like i do <laughs> um this comes with a pair of um of, of spring-loaded adjustable um, stanchions that you can put in place that will hold this up and I like that a lot so that don't worry about it um, with rain coming in uh, or, or coming on top the rain flows on the back of the uh, of the backlight and then it's drained down uh, both sides and as long as this is upright there with these stanchions that really hasn't become a problem the Elotent 5D uh, attaches to the, the 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 rear peripheral of the tailgate and of the lift gate and it does that via velcro which had me very skeptical to begin with because we all know how velcro um, not necessarily the, the the hook and latch material but the glue that's used to hold the velcro on in in different temperatures just doesn't hold up well uh, this has been in uh from a 100 degrees uh temperature down to freezing and so far, the original equipment Velcro that shipped with the Elton has been holding on very, very well. Much to my relief because uh, because we're using this all the time. Um, if you take a close look at things, everything is double stitched. Nice toothy zippers uh, that are working. They work out well with this. I recommend just a little bit of, um, I put some bar soap on the uh, on the, the teeth there just to make it um, a little easier to open and close. <laughs> Why don't you get down now, okay? Go, go, there we go. Um, on the on the tour video that I did at the Vanadium, this, this was the biggest hit. And lots of people were very interested. Where can I find it? How much is it? That kind of thing. Okay, um, I also promised you a review of the Rome 90, 90 liter case that's up on top that stores this tent. And uh, when I get around to it, I'll uh, produce that review, okay? All right, Eric Young, Utah ADV. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, all right? Thanks. Mm -hmm.